Hi guys, it's Bulkbuster. So this is my version 2 review of the Bad Dad. And last time I seem to have skipped off some bits and pieces, so let's recap and let's go. So, the basic story that I have told in a really long and complicated and sweet way is that number one, Gilbert, this is a story about his father and the son, same as the last review. And, and the son's name is Frank, the father's name is Gilbert. And they, and after Gilbert had a very bad car racing accident, he was a champion banger racer. Um, he lost uh, his um leg, and he had to amputate it. And he and it went downfall for them, for he was never allowed to race again, and he became really poor. And then he decided to buy his boy Frank. A birthday present, and that birthday present, what was it? That birthday present was a really expensive car set. And where did he get the money? From a bad, bad man. And it just happened to be the same man who had took her, his woman from him. His wife had dumped him for that little man. It's just... Kind of sad, actually. And and Mr. Big, his name's Mr. Big. And he has these two henchmen, one's a gorilla and one's a leech, in my opinion. The gorilla one, in my opinion, of course. His, um, his name is Thumbs, and his name for his giant thumbs that he uses to cause incredible pain. And he's just kind of... And I don't want to say stupid, so let's just say of low intelligence. He doesn't even know what kind of meat comes from a cow. He actually guesses two times. He guesses first chicken, then lamb. From a cow. That's just sad life. And one day, Gilbert is finally forced to work as a getaway driver, for he owed a lot of money to Mr. Big. To rob a bank. And Frank was very suspicious that night, so he decided to follow that, and it came to be that he climbed into the boot of Queenie, the, his old racing car that he managed to repair for the getaway car, and he got inside the boot, under the name for the trunk, and when he got out, he saw that they were robbing a bank. And they they ran away and they tried to lose them and after some epic driving and some pretty much a lot of troubles they managed to outmaneuver out like hundreds of not hundreds but a lot of police cars and Frank had his own demolition derby. By that I mean he was on the wheel. You don't to re, to get to the specifics read that book read this book and it'll just be totally clear. And they run into the cow countryside, and there's actually a pig. And and the Queenie's engines, um, the Queenie kind of flips, flips like this, like, uh oh, like that. I mean, no one was hurt, but uh, its engines flooded, so they had to leave the poor car in the countryside. And they went to Mr. Big's house. There, what did they do? Well, well, uh, let me answer that question. There, they gave Mr. Big the loot. There was half a million bucks, I mean dollars, inside that suitcase that is trailing money all the way. And, wow, Mr. Big was kind of happy. And Frank almost made a big mistake that he told Mr. Big, why isn't he giving some of the money to Dad? And that's where actually he was revealed about his birthday present and his mom, and it was very shocking for him. I do recall that in my first review, I got all the other parts from here, then but this time I'm gonna get to the details of um Frank's master plan. So after Dad was charged, proved guilty, and put into jail unfailed unfairly. Frank, last time I just said this is a book about Frank um, putting the right guys into jail. Well, let's specify that.
in this second review? Well, for one thing, Frank has a master plan. His master plan is to go break into Mr. Big's countryside house, steal half a million pounds or dollars or whatever, and he, he gets that and he puts it in the bank again, so it'll be unrobbing, unrobbed, I mean, kinda. And then his father will finally have to go, have to get off. And he got this brilliant idea inspired by Raj. Raj, I mean, it's kind of hard to pronounce his name. Anyway, I'm just going to say Raj, okay? Raj gave him a brilliant idea. He said that Auntie Flip, Frank's great aunt that he was staying with while his dad was in, um, maybe jail? Anyway, I uh, was staying with, and, and his father looked really, really alike. And so he got this brilliant idea to to switch them in jail, and he managed that. But but thumbs managed to see that, and now they have to, they're they're pursued by the dangerous fing dangerous fingers in a crane that could smash the car to little bits. They managed to escape by going to a low bridge. And they finally break into Mr. Big Country House. I mean, Frank did first. He went inside the cat flap. Mr. Big has these two cats, Ronnie and Reggie. They're basically baby, baby black panthers, and they're like, okay, that's enough. Anyway, the anyway, she managed to go inside the cat flap, and there, Mr. Big is waiting for. And Mr. Big uh, wants to train Frank as his son, and that's just no, no, no. And later on, and later on, when they, when, when he managed to escape, um, he, he, he managed to trick Mr. Big that he actually submitted it to Mr. Big's cries for a son, and then he managed to kill two birds with one stone. You know what he did? He gave the bag to. Mr. Big and made him take more money into it inside the bank, and then and he, he, uh, him and his father managed to shut the bank door, hold it tight, and jam it, and they managed to ca catch those criminals red-handed. And that's pretty much the end of the book. I mean, that's the exact end. Later, they change, they switch on to flip and um, Gilbert again. I mean that, I mean Gilbert, whatever, again. And then they free Gilbert from prison. And they tell the judge the full story this time. And at the finals, Dad had managed to rebuild Queenie. Queenie 2, actually. Um, uh, I kind of forgot to mention this, but... Queenie got into mangled bits by that evil fingers, just just before the bank robbery. I mean, the second bank unrobbery, and the book ends with a happy couple. Um, by that I mean Auntie Flip and Reverend Judith, the vicar, and it's really a great book, and it's written beautifully. And like always, your book quester and the book quester.